A school lunch consisting of a turkey and cheese sandwich, a banana, and a bag of chips. Well, that sounds pretty healthy, right? Well, not according to some at a school in North Carolina. It's a story that's gotten a lot of people talking. Fox 26's Kristen Kane joins us live in the newsroom with more on this. Kristen? Yeah, well, Don, get this. The preschooler ended up eating three chicken nuggets for lunch instead after the state employee told her the lunch her mother packed did not meet state nutrition requirements. How chicken nuggets are any healthier than a sandwich, chips, and fruit? I have no idea. Mashed potatoes. And we got great. When an agent with the Department of Agriculture was inspecting lunch boxes in a North Carolina classroom, the agent determined a four year old's turkey and cheese sandwich, banana, chips, and apple juice did not meet federal guidelines, which means lunches must consist of one serving of meat, milk, and grain, and two servings of fruit or veggies. Because the agent thought there were portions missing from the girl's lunch, she was apparently given three chicken nuggets from the cafeteria, and her mom was charged a buck 25. Parents here in Fort Bend ISD say that lunch is plenty healthy. That would be something I'd put in my own child's lunch without without questioning. I think that that's healthier than a lot of the meals that they serve. Turkey and cheese is much better than taco meat and chips. Yeah, that's what I think too. <laughs> that's what you think too? While they are encouraged to pack a balanced lunch for their child, they are not allowed to send along any of the sugary stuff. Just no candy in the classroom. You ever told in school, like, if you bring candy or if you bring cookies, you're not supposed to do that? Yeah, well, we mostly get told that every single day because someone does not follow the rules. They bring, like, m and it's a like, type of candy or, like, chips or um, cookies. UT Health dietitian Carol Wolin Rickland says keeping sugar out of a child's diet is a good thing, but a sandwich, fruit, and chips? Come on! A sandwich, whether it's turkey breast, chicken breast, roast beef, any whole meat, not a processed meat that's loaded with fat, um, some fruit with it, and then, you know, most kids do eat chips. And finally, nobody understands why the girl was given chicken nuggets. I, I question chicken nuggets, chicken rings, any of those processed chicken foods that may have been higher in preservatives and additives. It's processed chicken deep fried, so I don't know how that's better. A state rep in North Carolina is now looking into the lunch incident after the girl's mother filed a complaint.